Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode on That Car Guy, Tim. And today we're gonna talk a service that costs over $500. Let's get to it. Okay, so you know how outside I said it was north of 500? 884 bucks for sea service. That's your 60,000, 64,000 or 40,000 mile service. Uh, so you're probably wondering, well, geez, what did they all do to make it 884 bucks? Let's go through it. So I have it right here. Okay, uh, let's see. That was pretty much all my information there. See, right there. Um, they did a great job. I gotta say, they did a great job. Uh, the team here, I always, I, I trust them. I used to work with some of them. Um, so I know who worked on my truck and I trust them with my truck. But let's go through this. Okay, so we got a synthetic oil change, um, $109.99 for that. Okay, uh, so a breakdown of that, yeah, your $2 environmental fee, whoop-dee. Uh, oil, oil and filter package was $45. Bucks. Uh, they topped up the washer fluid and all that, uh, drain gasket, fil oil filter itself, that was, that was free. Okay, um, so parts itself, so that's the environmental disposal fee and the oil and filter package, that was $47. Bucks. Labor was $59.99. Grand total to that was $106.99 as advertised. Uh, the C service, which is your driveline fluid change, your full inspection, your brake service, make sure everything's hunky dory, that came out to $269.99, $270. Bucks. That's a penny. Um, so they'd use. Uh, looks like four jugs of ATF fluid, um, 75W140, diff oil, uh, automatic transmission oil. Uh, so all that there, 51, 54, 14 bucks. Going to the next page, it continues. So parts for the C-Service, which again was your driveline fluid change, full inspection, brake service. That came out to parts, $120.46. Labor, $269.99. That brought the total uh, to $390.45. Um, then a brake system fluid flush. Uh, I guess that's part of the C service, your brake service portion of your C service. That was, um, they just used M6 brake fluid. Parts was $22.92, labor $109.99. That brought it to um, $132.91. Uh, so I'm guessing their shop rate is 109 bucks, 110 bucks, something like that. Um, and then I had a, there's something in the front end that was squeaking every time I went over bumps. So I asked Daryl to take a look at that. Uh, Daryl's my mechanic here and he does a phenomenal job. He's a master mechanic with Nissan. He has Liam under him. Liam does a freaking amazing job too. Um, no qualms with them at all. They do freaking amazing work. I trust them with my truck completely. Um, they diagnosed the front passenger squeak with bumps. Uh, it says here uh, in the notes. Um, Turns out all it was was just some hood bump stops that were just weren't adjusted correctly. So what they did with that was they he just fiddled with it a bit. Um, yeah, that was just labor, thirteen fifty, thirteen dollars fifty cents. So it took him maybe what five ten minutes to do that. So see what I mean? Daryl and Liam they know what they're doing. Um, other places would have taken forever and charged me over two hundred bucks just for that these guys $13.50 so awesome 
Uh, the other issue I had with the truck was when the truck was at a standstill, it wasn't blowing heat. It was just blowing cold air, even though I had the thing cranked to full heat. Um, turns out, uh, apparently that is just a very, very, very dirty cabin air filter. So that was swapped out. Uh, parts 2382 for the filter. Labor was 6750. That was just fiddling around, looking at the HVAC. Um, and then discovering that the air filter was uh, extremely dirty. Whoops. Um, so that $91.32 thing is all my fault. Um, I did not check my cabin air filter very often. I didn't clean it out very often. That's on me. Uh, I also had a little bit of the weather stripping on the tail cap, uh, the tailgate cap rather. Uh, the little spoiler thing that Nissan puts on the Frontiers. Um, there's some weather stripping that was just falling off of that. So no big deal. Um, Daryl just trimmed that. He did that for free. So kudos to him for that. Thank you very much. Nissan Canada vehicle health check. That was free. Goody, goody, goody. So all in all, labor, $520.97. Parts, $214.20. Supplies, shop supplies, $54.24. Subtotal for this was $789.41. Trudeau took $39. John Horgan took $55. That brought it up to $884.14. If you don't know who those two goes, two guys are, uh, Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. John Horgan is the Premier of British Columbia. I just, it's just a more fun way and less depressing way than saying GST and PST. So, uh, here is the vehicle health check. Here it is. <laughs> there is the uh, truck health check. Uh, there is one little thing, uh, but I already told them about that. I know about it. That's an upcoming video, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. That is, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your license plate lights and your reverse lights to LEDs. So you can see better. So that's the only little yellow or fair uh, X on this whole thing, which is pretty awesome. Okay, that is the whole summary of what your Nissan C-Service is going to look like. Um, save up, <laughs> it's expensive. Um, if it wasn't for all my little diddly things on the side there, they didn't want to change it to the C-Service. Uh, what was the other diddly thing? Um, yeah, so minus, literally minus $13, uh, so minus a hundred bucks. So your C service, uh, sh theoretically, depending on the dealership, cause every dealership is different, but you can bank on at least 750 bucks for your C service. It's expensive. I know my jaw nearly dropped off my face and I had bloody near had a heart attack when I when she said oh the guy told me $884 today freaking what 884 bucks holy crap it's almost as much as my rent <laughs> so and that's more than my truck payment um but you know what it is totally totally worth it you take care of your vehicles and they will take care of you that's how it works <laughs> so uh yeah it was expensive but the truck's running great. The truck is top notch. I know everything is good in the truck. They went through the whole freaking thing. It's uh, it's good. It's good. Just make sure they do take your tires off for the brake service. So make sure you get your tires retorqued after 50 to 100 kilometers. Um, other than that, yeah, that's uh, that's the C service. That is the sea service. Um, if you want to watch the prequel to the sea service, what I was what was going through my head before I got the service done, uh, the link to the video. Let's see if I can get this pointed right. This always screws me up. It is going to be up there. My luck, it's going to be right there. But I think it's right there. If not, it's right there. Click that card wherever it is, and that will take you straight to the video where I kind of go through the truck, uh, give it a review uh, for 64,000 kilometers um, and kind of go through what my thoughts were before I got the C-Service done. 
Um, obviously, this is my post sea service. Uh, we're not in a shop, we're not on a hoist. So this is my post uh, shop review, I guess you could say. Thoughts, critiques. The only critique to that would be the voice crack. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, uh, keep up on your service, people. Keep up on your vehicle service because it is important. It's, it's very important. If you keep up on your service, your vehicle will treat you like gold. You treat it like gold, it'll treat you back like gold. So more adventures, more memories to come in the frontier and the black gold. It's a warm, humid as heck day out today. I am boiling in this truck right now because I have the window shut because the wind is coming up. Uh, looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a summer storm, which is exciting, I love summer storms. So on that note, we're gonna end this. I'm looking at the timer at the top <laughs> and this is going quite a while. So um, thanks so much for watching you guys. Take care, remember to subscribe, leave a comment down below. What do you think? Is a sea service worth over 750 bucks? Is it worth it for everything? Let me know in the comments below, but make sure you click that subscribe button. It's probably gonna be, let's do it different. Subscribe, click that button there, and make sure you check out the last video that I did there. It's right there, go check it out. For now though, see you next time. Have fun, get her done.